what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so we have a little bit of an update into josh duggar's pre-trial his pre-trial was supposed to start july 2nd it has been moved back until november 18th 2021 now josh duggar and his legal team they asked the court to delay the trial until or after february 2022 their reasoning for this was that their team was going to hire their own independent computer forensic expert who would conduct a computer forensic examination on the devices that the government claimed had this material on it the um, child SA material. That was one of the reasonings that they needed this postponed. They also stated that they needed it postponed because um, Josh had scheduling conflicts during the remainder of 2021. Many believe that the conflict in scheduling was actually the fact that Josh's wife is due to give birth to their seventh child at some point. So people believe that he was just trying to get the trial pushed back so he would be out of jail when she had the baby. They requested this delay until February 2022 or after, while the government did not grant the request for a six month plus delay, it did allow for a three month long postponement. Court documents state that the United States does not oppose to a reasonable continuance of approximately three months to allow a defense hired expert to review the digital evidence in this case and provide a subsequent opinion. The government also stated that because Josh and his legal team has had the evidence since May, that three months should provide ample time for them to complete the review of the reports and identify any alleged witnesses favorable to the defense. Court documents also state that the court grants this continuance based on its findings that the ends of justice served by taking such action outweigh the best interest of the public and the defendant in a speedy trial because otherwise the defendant's counsel would be denied the reasonable time necessary for effective preparation taking into account the exercise of due diligence so um they are saying that they've had this information since may three more months should give them enough time to do everything they need to do hire their own forensic expert for him to do what he needs to do uh, and for them to get any witnesses that they may need. Um, yeah, I, that's what I was saying when I done a video earlier about this, that I do believe maybe they should be allowed a little bit more time, but definitely not until next year. So a judge thought three months should be long enough. I agree. Now, Josh was arrested April 29th and charged with possessing and receiving child essay material. Josh pled not guilty to these charges. However, it does say that he can change his plea to guilty up until October 18th. And he could submit a signed plea deal up until October 20th. A change of plea hearing has been set for October 22nd, but it is unknown if it will be needed. So that makes me wonder, has a plea deal been offered? If that's, I don't know, has anyone heard of anything about a plea deal being offered? Which I'm assuming if a plea deal has been offered, unless that information was leaked, we wouldn't know that. But yeah, it says that he has pled not guilty but he can change it to guilty up until October 18th. Maybe they are possibly, you know, looking at a plea deal. I'm not sure. Josh Duggar's legal team says that he has been charged in a two count indictment. He has pled not guilty to both charges and we intend to defend this case aggressively and thoroughly. In this country, no one can stop prosecutors from charging a crime, but when you're accused, you can fight back in the courtroom and that is exactly what Josh intends to do. Now, while Josh awaits trial, he is living with third-party custodians. They are friends of the family. He is not allowed to reside in a house with minor children, including his own. Josh is currently only allowed to visit with his own children when his wife, Anna, is present. Um, I'm assuming he's going to continue living there until November, until he starts his trial date. So, that's what I'm assuming. He'll live there until the trial date starts, he'll live there through the trial date. And once everything works out, if he goes to jail, obviously jail. If not, I don't even know. He would be put on some sort of restrictions. I don't even know you guys, but yeah, there is the update. The trial date has been pushed back to November 18th, 2021. A judge felt that three months 
was all that they needed to get everything together to defend this case. You guys, let me your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you guys feel that three months is enough time for them to get everything together to fight these charges? Do you guys think that they shouldn't have been given these three months? I want to hear your thoughts. Um, also, if anyone planned to go, change your plans because it's not starting Friday. Um, I do want to say really quick, this video is for entertaining purposes only. Please do not take everything I say as facts. Do your own research to draw your own conclusion. This video was not meant to bully, harass, or defame anyone. Do not send hate to anyone that was mentioned in this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up as it does um, cue YouTube that this video is well received and well liked and they will further push it into the algorithm. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below and until next time i'll see you guys later goodbye everyone